Hey everybody, it's Pamela Hale with Coldwell Banker uh, Real Estate. I hope you can hear me. I don't know. I've got my headphones on. So where is Pamela? Let's see. I am in Charlotte. Yay! Shout out in the airport headed to West Virginia to my um, 30 year high school reunion. So um, looking forward to seeing everybody there. But doing business still during my travels. Hey Stacy, I don't know if I'm gonna see you Saturday or not, but that'd be great if I did. So um, heading home to see my new grandbaby I hadn't seen yet and see my granddaughter, my mama and everybody at graduation. But I had a business call and I really wanted to talk to everybody about this and share it with you. So there was a property that I used to have listed and when I had the property listed, I brought them an offer probably within two weeks after we had it um, listed and he was like, oh no, I'm not going to take it. Uh, I'm going to hold out for more and we were really literally were within $5,000. He said, it must be sounded too cheap if we got an offer that quickly and I said, no, we've got it priced right and statistically you should always work with the first offer if you can and let's make it work and if your price is priced, pro priced properly you will get an offer statistically within the first two weeks so he didn't he didn't take it so we sat sat six months later we reduced the price brought him a second offer probably about twenty five thousand dollars less than the first one because the longer your house sits on the market the more it will cost you in the long run as a seller so it's so important to get it priced right to begin with so he still didn't take that. I believe I can get more. I'm just going to take it off the market. Okay, so he took it off the market. That was in 20, I wrote it down, October of 2017. I just noticed that same house came back on the market for $5,000 less than the last offer that I brought him and just closed two years later for $70 thousand dollars less than the original offer that I gave him and twenty five thousand fifty thousand less than the second offer that I brought him plus he had two years of carrying costs taxes insurance and utilities and everything so how much did that really cost him in the long run so the lesson here is Statistically, if you can make that first offer work, make it work. Keep the conversation going. And just because you get an offer right away does not mean your property is underpriced. It means it's priced correctly for the market. And then the third lesson is the longer it sits on the market, the more money it will cost you in the long run. So it's so important to price your property correctly to begin with. The longer it sits, buyers start thinking, well, there must be something wrong with this house. It's overpriced. Well, if it's been sitting for a long time, now I can lowball them and get them. And the truth of the matter is sometimes you can because the seller gets weary. So anyways, it happens more than once. This is not the first time it happened, but this is just the most recent one that stood out in my mind and just hit me. So. I thought I would share that story. Oh, my arm's getting tired. So, anyways, in Charlotte, headed to West Virginia. Hello to all my peeps. I'll be there Saturday to see you. I'm going to see my mama tonight. Can't wait. And see my granddaughters uh, tomorrow. So, thanks for giving me some time away, guys. I appreciate y'all being patient with me. I know several clients uh, wanted to get together this weekend and graciously gave me the weekend off. So, anyways, hope y'all found that video. Um, informative and helpful if I can help you 252-673-5033 thanks for watching guys love y'all